Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm gonna show you how to recreate this animated shape from our essential shape pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve now we're on the edit page and first off we're gonna bring here a new fusion composition. So we're gonna go down to effects and here we're gonna take new fusion composition, drag it in our timeline. Now that it's done, we can just go over to fusion and start working on our animation. So here I have my media out. I'm gonna bring here a background in my working area, link that background to the media out. And then we're gonna make sure that here we have the background selected and we're gonna click here on the ellipse mask. Right now, I'm just gonna link the ellipse mask to the background. Now I'm just gonna here link the width and height with an expression by right clicking on the width and here pulling the width and link it with the height so that it will ensure that we have the same proportion and that the circle is staying even. So usually I will show you how to do the animation with here a uh, keyframe point, but now we're moving away from this and we're using anim curve to uh, create all our assets because it's just way better. It allows us to uh, really work properly with any frame rate uh, and to just be more flexible with our animation. So right now I'm just gonna show you how to do that. So here we're just gonna right click on the height. We're gonna go with modify width and here we're gonna click on anim curves. All right, so now I'd unlock here the modifier and we can just click on the modifier. Here we're gonna switch from transition to duration. And then here we're gonna switch from linear to custom. And basically where before we were going to the spline to uh, play with our curve, now we're gonna do everything from there. Let me know if you want to see a more detailed video about doing anim curve. Uh, right now I'm just gonna show you uh, how we did it for the shape. So here I'm gonna add two points, so one here and one here. I'm gonna bring down the out to uh, zero and one. So here the in at one, the out at zero. Then I'm gonna click on this point right there. I'm gonna set it up to 0 0.9 and here the out to 0 0.25. Then I'm gonna click on this point right here and I'm gonna set it up to uh, 0 0.1 as well. And here 0 0.25. So now if we play it, as you can see, we have a basic animation of the circle scaling up and scaling down. But the animation is not smooth yet, so we're gonna do uh, some smoothing right now. I'm gonna click on ellipse again, go back to modifier. Here, I'm gonna select those points. I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard. Same here, I'm gonna select uh, those animation out point and hit S on my keyboard. Then I'm gonna hit T. And here, we're gonna increase the out to 85. And then we're gonna do the same thing right there where we're gonna select those two points back and we're gonna increase it to 85 as well. So basically now we've done the exact same thing that we would uh, usually do here in the spline editor, but we've done it uh, in the anim curve. I hope they will basically make a, a similar tool as spline, but for the anim curve, that will be very helpful to make it a bit easier to see what we're doing. Um, but using this technique is just uh, way better. It allows you to have a very responsive title right away without having to use keyframe stretcher. So it's very, very helpful. That's why from now on, we're gonna use this technique for all our pack. So now let's play it, perfect. Now the animation is a bit more smooth and is working properly. Right now, let's add a couple of things to make it maybe a bit more useful. So here I'm gonna switch the color from black to white. I'm gonna go over to ellipse right here and I'm gonna toggle off a solid and here raise the border width. So we have the outline of the circle instead. Now I'm just gonna select the background, hit shift space and I'm gonna bring glow. And then I'm gonna hit shift space again and I'm gonna bring shadow. We're gonna bring a drop shadow right here. And here we have a cool shape animation and we can go back to the edit page. And as I say, now we have the title, we can extend it and the animation, we will be able to extend easily that title and we will uh, keep the animation. So that's why we're using anim curve and make a huge difference to make it easy to use from the get-go. You can download this sample by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, it's part of our essential shape pack that you can find on our website. Thank you very much for watching and let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next. See you in the next one, bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. 
Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.